Holidays are a time to gather with loved ones normally, and often it's done around a table. While this season can be a time to indulge, new research shows us how your body keeps track of how much you're eating. To explain how our brains, tongues, and stomachs team up on this, science and climate specialist Darius Madavi joins us now. Darius, how do our bodies know when to put down the fork? The best way to describe it is as an epic tug of war between the part of your brain that says, well, this is really yummy, I should keep eating, and the part that says, all right, maybe we should slow down. Mm -hmm. Now, for a long time, the best evidence was that your tongue was on one side of this epic war, saying, this is yummy, and your stomach is on the other, saying, I'm getting full. But according to new research, that's not the whole picture. Now, take a look at this graphic. This is a cross-section of your brain. And you can see here, uh, there would actually be various parts of your brain that are uh, involved in determining how hungry you are, controlling how much you're eating, but here are two important ones. The first is the hypothalamus. This is the part of your brain flashing green that says eat more. When something yummy touches your tongue, it says, uh, I really like this. We should keep eating it. But there's another part of your brain down here in the brain stem, which actually makes it very hard to study. But it says eat less. It's when you, you start feeling full, you think, all right, this doesn't taste as good anymore. And you'll notice that as soon as food enters the mouth, it, uh, it, as soon as it touches the tongue, it signals to both of those parts of your brain. It says both eat more and all right, this is maybe pretty calorie heavy. Maybe this is mashed potatoes or, or potato chips. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should slow down a little bit. It doesn't necessarily say stop, but it says, all right, let's just let's, let's pace ourselves. And this is what this new research uh, showed that was, that was really groundbreaking, because before we thought this was just the gut, just the role of the gut. Now, the gut is also involved. As the food continues to make its way into the mouth, you'll notice both the green and yellow part of the brain still signaling, both saying we should eat more and let's, let's pace ourselves and just sort of have that balancing act between the two. But as soon as the stomach gets involved, there we go, we're flashing orange now. It's saying, all right, let's, let's have an extra, par extra, extra <laughs> signal, say, all right, I'm getting a little bit full. And then once it's really full, it says, all right, I'm done now. We should stop. And you'll notice as soon as the food stops entering the mouth, stops touching the tongue, that green part of the brain stops signaling. It stops saying, let's keep putting food in. And instead we say, all right, we're coming to a stop now. We're good. And at least until that food leaves the stomach and enters uh, the rest of your digestive system, you're, you're pretty much done then. And the food just won't taste as good. Because if you know if you're just shoveling food into your mouth, it doesn't, you very quickly, you start to lack that, uh, miss that taste. It doesn't mm -hmm. taste quite as good. And so that's what this new research showed. It's not just your gut doing it, it's your tongue too. And immediately, as soon as you start eating too quickly, it says, all right, let's calm down here. Mm. Now we all, most of us have a guilty pleasure when it comes to eating, especially around the holidays. Does this help explain that? Yes, and what's yours, Dan? Oh, uh, cheese spread. Oh, good choice. Mm -hmm. Mac and cheese for me. There nice. we go. Che let's have a cheese party. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it's all about that balance between the eat more and eat less parts of your brain, this tug of war. For foods you really love, that balance can be hard to strike and you end up in a bit of a vicious cycle. You can be standing at a cocktail party and uh, there's a bowl of peanuts and you're just looking at it for an hour, not hungry, right? You don't touch it, just having a conversation. But then you take one peanut and uh, all of a sudden you're just shoveling peanuts into your mouth every five seconds, right? And it, it's because that sensory experience of the taste acts as positive feedback that propels you forward to continue eating it uh, uh, even, uh, even if you're not hungry. So if there's a food you really love, that really triggers the eat more part of your brain. And it can take a long time for your body to catch up and realize it needs to stop. Like when you open a bag of chips and what feels like five seconds later, the bag is empty, or you finish making dinner and it's mac and cheese and then you've eaten the whole tray, which may or may not be a true story. <laughs> Science and climate specialist Darius Madavi. Thanks for the true story. Thanks, Dan.